Hello, Jessica Frost Ballas here with a video for Trinity Stamps. Today I'm combining two die sets to create a trio of fun seasonal coffee cups, so let's get started. First, I'm die cutting coffee cups from the Tip and Sip Coffee Shaker die set. I'm just cutting the solid cup, sleeve, and the lids. I use craft cardstock for the cups, white cardstock for the lids, and white, orange, and green for my sleeves. Next, I have an A7 panel of dark gray cardstock and I blend black soot distress oxide ink around the edges, softening my blend towards the center. I use a light hand and gradually build up the color along the edges. Once I'm happy with my blending, I spritz the panel with a water bottle to add some lighter spots. Then I splatter the panel with diluted black soot distress oxide ink and silver metallic watercolor paint. I set the panel aside to dry while I work on my coffee sleeves. Next, I blend a little carved pumpkin distress oxide ink around the edges of the orange sleeve and mowed lawn around the edges of the green sleeve. I use a smaller blending buddy from Trinity Stamps to add just a little bit of shading. Once I get a darker edge, I blend some of the excess ink off onto a piece of scrap paper and then soften the edges of my blending. I repeat the process with my green sleeve. Then I use the same brush I used to apply black soot ink to my gray panel and use that to very lightly add shading to the edges of my white sleeve. I don't even re-ink the brush, I just use whatever remaining ink is still there so I don't get too much ink on the white paper. Next I have a sentiment from Hocus Pocus Gnomes and I curve it gently on the lid of my Misty so that it will fit the curve of my coffee cup lid. Since the cup lid doesn't have a straight edge for lining it up along the Misty, I use a piece of temporary tape to hold it in place and then stamp it with black ink. I decide to add a little shading to the inside of the coffee cup lids, so I use T2 and T0 Copic markers to color my lids. It's very subtle, but just helps you see the design of the lids better. And now it's time to create my little Halloween sleeves. I die cut the faces of the jack-o'-lantern, Frankenstein's monster, and the ghost from the You Do Not Scare Me add-on die set. I also die cut the spider webs twice with vellum. I adhere the sleeves to my cups first. It's really easy to line up the sleeves using the shape of the cup. I also adhere the lids. I arrange my cups on my gray panel so that I can see what the spacing will look like and then I start to adhere the faces. I want to make sure that the little ghost arm doesn't cover up too much of my jack-o'-lantern. I use liquid glue to add all of the little pieces. 
For the ghost arms, I tuck one under the cup and the other over the cup, but placed where the green sleeve will cover it. After I build all my faces, I adhere the cups to the gray panel. I actually realized that I had forgotten to add my spider web, so I very lightly adhered the pumpkin cup so I'd be able to tuck the web underneath. To add my second web, I add a little glue to a scrap piece of paper and dip the web into the glue lightly and blot off the excess on the same piece of paper. This just helps me add as little glue as possible. Then I take another scrap of paper and dip it into the remaining glue. I carefully rub it under the other web to add a little more adhesive to the pieces. Finally, I add some accents with a white paint pen to really bring those fun characters to life. And that's it! I hope you enjoyed today's video, and if you did, I'd love for you to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. Be sure to subscribe to the Trinity Stamps channel for even more crafty inspiration. Thanks so much for watching and until next time, have an amazing day and happy crafting. Bye!